Hi and welcome to the first in this set of screencasts on programming for psychology and vision science. My name is Damien Mannion and I'm a lecturer in the School of Psychology at UNSW Australia. So today we're going to start by looking at an application we're going to use to write and run our own programs. To do this we're going to use an application called Spider. So the objectives of uh, today's uh, screencast so the first objective is um, for you to be able to run Spider and to understand its role in executing Python scripts, with Python being the, the specific programming language that we're going to use. The second objective is for you to know the key components of the Spider application and how we're going to use them. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the desktop. So if you're using the computers in the Matthews building, it should look something like this. What you're after is Spider, which will launch by double-clicking on the icon. If you want to run this software at home, I've posted some instructions on how you can do this in Windows. Okay, so we see Spider loading here. So once it loads, it'll look something like this. So now to introduce you to the key components. So the first and most important is this window here on the left, which is our code editor. Here is where we'll be typing in our program code. So these are just ordinary files and we'll need to save them. So let's set up a place where we can store our files. So we'll go File, Save As, which will bring up a normal Windows dialog box. So let's make a, a folder. I'm going to make mine on my Z, Z drive. So I'm going to call it Python Screencasts. You can call it whatever you like. And then inside this folder, I'm going to save the current file, which is currently empty, to screencast getting started.py. OK, so now when we start to write our code, we can either press Control S to save our progress, or we can go File, Save to save our work. Okay, so the next component is this window up here, and this is going to display our help. So as we will see, uh, sometimes we need to know some information about some particular code that we're writing, and this information will appear up here. Finally, down here, we have our, our output. Let's make it a little bit larger. So when we want to run our program, um, we might want to display some output and this will get shown down here. Also when we inevitably make some errors in our code, uh, the error messages are also going to appear down here. Okay, so finally let's just um, write our first uh, simple Python script just to show some of these components in action. So the traditional first code that gets written in a new language is to have the program output hello world to the screen. So let's do that. So over here in the editor, we're going to simply type the command print and then in um, quotation marks, hello world. Then we're going to uh, save this. So I'm pressing control S and now to run it, so to, to pass this to Python and get it to interpret our commands, we press this uh, play button up here, which um, runs, runs the file. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And you'll see down here in our output, we've got this, um, this phrase, hello world. Okay, so to finish up this screencast, uh, we've seen how we can run this application called Spider and we can use it to manage our programming. We also had a look at the three important components of the Spider interface, the editor, the help, and the output. And we've run a simple script to get ourselves started. Okay, so I'll see you in the next screencast.